JPEG, newbie, FAC. What do these terms have in common? Well, like such terms as MP3, pwned, and leet, they're all terms that were once used exclusively within the world of computing, but have since made their way into popular culture and, some would argue, our daily language. By leaving the confines of computer code and making its way into our common vernacular, these terms are bits of evidence that computing is influencing our culture and society. Professor Lev Manovich, a well-known new media theorist, calls this the principle of transcoding. This principle identifies two layers that we interact with. There's the computer layer in which computers operate and then there's the cultural layer in which we operate. Transcoding talks about how these two separate layers influence one another. Let's use an example. Counter-Strike. On the computer layer, we'll come across things like a game engine, a physics engine, scripting, a multi-core 3D graphics renderer, and lots and lots of code. These are the things that the computer understands and identifies as being Counter-Strike. On the cultural layer, we find things like online communities, terrorists versus counter-terrorists, guns, fragging, victories and losses, tactics, cheats, hacks and behaviour resembling an angry German kid. These are the things that people identify with Counter-Strike. So how does the computer layer influence the cultural layer? Cheating. In-game cheating such as modding, hacking and using aimbot involves intimate understanding of Counter-Strike's code. Through the straightforwardness and ease by which people can interface with Counter-Strike's computer layer, cheaters have become common enough to have become synonymous with the Counter-Strike franchise. So synonymous in fact that in 2002, Valve Corporation released Valve Anti-Cheat. Counter-Strike was the first game it was released for. Evidence of how the computer layer shaped the cultural layer, affecting the very way we perceive and identify with the game. Conversely, our cultural layer demands for things like usability, preferences, style, taste and technological advancement. These have had a profound influence on Counter-Strike at its computer level. When its first beta was released in June 1999, Counter-Strike spent the entirety of its first year in beta development. This was done largely through user community feedback. Counter-Strike as we know it today is a product shaped hugely by the input of its countless number of users over its 14 year history. Evidence of how the cultural layer influenced the computer layer reflected in the game's very design, structure and code. So, by checking out Manovich's principle of transcoding in Counter-Strike, we can observe how the two separate layers of computer and culture influence one another. What other examples can you think of? Here's one. Next time someone asks you to Google something, or you come across a noob or uber elite hack source for that matter, take a moment to think about Manovich's principle of transcoding. From geek speak to daily jargon, it's influencing our day-to-day -day language. I'm Phillips, thanks for tuning in.